So, Detective Pikachu was a pretty great film. If you're um, a fan of Pokemon, or Seth MacFarlane films like Ted, you'll probably love it. It was pretty light-hearted and quite a stimulating movie. Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu was fantastic. The movie was PG, but there was plenty to keep me entertained as an adult. So, the synopsis of the movie. Ace Detective Harry Goldman goes mysteriously missing, prompting his 21-year-old son, Tim, to find out what happened. Aiding in the investigation is Harry's former Pokemon partner, wisecracking, adorable super sleuth Detective Pikachu. Finding that they are uniquely equipped to work together, as Tim is the only human who can talk with Pikachu, they join forces to unravel the tangled mystery. I like the look of a Pokemon, but it was still kind of cartoony and actually looked like real Pokemon. Uh, one of the problems I think with the Sonic movie trailer was that they tried and failed to make Sonic look more realistic. Pikachu was very cute and still looks a lot like Pikachu would in the cartoon. Spoiler alert, if you've not seen the movie, I highly recommend that you pause it here and come back and watch the rest when you've actually seen it, because there will be spoilers. Uh, there were some issues with the animation. I wanted to see Pikachu picked up and handled more. Pikachu and the other Pokemon lacked physicality, like they had been added to the movie with CGI. I mean, of course they had been. Pikachu spent most of the movie on him's shoulder, which is fine. More physical interaction would have really helped me with immersion. Second spoiler alert, this is a big one. There were a few plot holes. For a start, Tim's dad had a very distinctive voice and way of speaking. I find it hard to believe Tim never recognised Pikachu's voice as his father's. Had they never spoken on the phone? I mean, we're told Tim's father, Harry, talks about his son a lot. Maybe this was why his father hardly spoke at the end of the movie. Talking about the end, it was very unsatisfying. So Detective Pikachu, the character we all loved, turned into Tim's father and Pikachu's original personality reasserted itself. I kind of felt like this great character had been lost. I had mixed emotions, and the idea Tim would even consider leaving on a train after all he and his dad had been through took some power away from the story for me. I also thought the giant Torterra didn't really add much to the story. Um, they were very dramatic and fun, and the CGI was good, but still, I would have really preferred if the movie had spent more time world building. The world building felt really rushed. We get to see a few Pokemon putting out fires or helping the police in adverts, but I wish they had spent longer thinking about po how Pokemon and humans would live together. So, for example, would the trash be collected by Pokemon instead of humans? And maybe a Grimer? And maybe Magnemite could work at a car crashing facility, moving around with cars and components? Maybe Grass-type Pokemon could help with rubbish recycling? And maybe the water-type Pokemon could help kids learn to swim or work as lifeguards. And maybe some Pokemon could be used as transport. Maybe some people could fly on the backs of Pokemon like Dragonite. Maybe fighting-type Pokemon could help run a gym. The possibilities are endless, and it really would have been nice to see how, the, how Pokemon and humans would actually interact in a city. I mean, we got quite a few Pokemon walking around the streets and doing various tasks, but it they kind of didn't really feel like they were in the same world, you know? For, for me, the CGI kind of stuck out a bit too much, you know? Although I do actually really like the style that they went with. The other slight break in the story was when Ditto turned into Cubone and tried to knock Tim off the building. I kind of thought that was a bit strange, because how would... how would Ditto actually know that Tim had issues with a Cubone earlier earlier in his life. Had the whole thing been set up? Was Tim some kind of pawn in a bigger game or something? This um, I kind of thought was a bit confusing and wasn't properly explained. It might have made a bit more sense if Tim had actually had some problems with Cubone which he had kind of talked about which could have been one of the reasons why he didn't actually become a Pokemon trainer. But this isn't really discussed in the movie. Perhaps this was cut. Lastly, the motivation of Howard Clifford is a bit confusing. 
It wasn't really obvious why he wanted to put human souls into Pokemon's bodies using Mewtwo's power. The movie could have explained his motivation better. I would have also liked if the movie had been a bit longer. A few scenes without any humans would have been great, exploring the Pokemon's role in the city better. Overall, I really liked the movie. It was nostalgic, it was fun, it was um, light thanks to the dialogue from Ryan Reynolds. Pikachu looked very cute. I hear there's a sequel planned, which will expand the Pokemon world, which will be fantastic. I guess you guys have already seen the movie, but if you hadn't then I would recommend you go to the cinema and see it. Um, CGI wasn't mind blowing, but heck it was really fun, it was cute, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Overall, I give Detective Pikachu a 7 out of 10. I liked the animation, I, I liked the movie overall. It kind of, like I say, felt a bit rushed, but generally it was great. What else can I say?